What's going on, nerd doobers and geek viewers of the world? Mr. Dark Phoenix is back to bring you guys the season premiere of Arrow. This is the first time you're catching my channel. Please hit subscribe. I review Game of Thrones, Gotham, Lucifer, Supergirl, The Flash, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Teen Wolf, Arrow, Legend of Tomorrow. I got some Netflix family on here. We got three out of four so far with Luke Cage. We're going to get some Iron Fist on there soon. My weekly show on Wednesdays where I give you guys opinions and theories, hot button comic book news, and just a little sprinkle of little reaction videos every now and again. All that great, awesome, nerdy stuff in one great channel. So hit subscribe if you haven't already to see me on a more personal, more often basis, I stream games on Twitch. It is twitch.tv slash Phoenix. The link for that will be in my description bar along with a lot of other great links you guys should use to be caught up on when I do my awesome stuff. But without further ado, let's jump right on into this episode of Arrow. This is the first time you are catching my channel. Be wary. This is going to be a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen Arrow yet, come back when you have. And if you have seen it, let's jump right on in to Arrow Legacy. We have got lots of stuff to talk about. Like, the first fight scene is Arrow versus Anarchy. I love what they have done with Anarchy's character. It's like he's just a character that keeps popping up and causes more trouble. With really good fight scenes and just keep him around for as long as you can because I really want Thea to be with him somehow. So that I, as a dark, twisted kind of couple thing. I don't know. I just, I like their scenes together and I just want more of that. Upgrades. Everybody got upgrades. Oliver got some sleeves on his suit. I said it last time about the suit last season with um, the sleeveless stuff and I'm like, listen, it's a cool costume and all, but what happens if he runs into Cheshire? And we all know she's about the poison. So what if she's all just like, poison, you're dead. Whoops. Now his now his sleeves all covered. Now he's all covered up and shit. He's got a trick arrow, he's got the parachute arrow, the hacker arrow, and just a lot of other great ass things that we have finally been wanting from the green arrow. His thing is that he has trick arrows. Now, they some of them make sense, some of them don't. Don't care. Not in the slightest. I can't wait until he has Palmer Tech minimize a boxing glove into the tip of an arrow, and then when he shoots it, the boxing glove comes out, and just more often boxing glove arrow. Please give us some more arrows. Trick arrows. I don't care. Use the ones from the comics. Use brand new ideas. I don't care. Just bring us some more of that stuff. Casey Jones! <laughs> Is it a coincidence that uh, Stephen Amell runs into Casey Jones as Green Arrow? He was like, I told you not to do this anymore. And I'm like, yeah, you tell that to the guy that fights with turtles. You just tell ragdoll Casey Jones that shit. And this episode we've gotten to, now we got like Tyrese. My man Tyrese is in the building. He's all like, listen, who's the biggest, baddest person here? Me. Dink. Next. Oh, I'm the biggest, baddest person up in here. I'm going to beat myself later. That's a bad joke, but y'all understood it. Because y'all nasty, just like I am. We're trying to get into new recruits because Diggle and Thea left. Laurel's still dead, so... She won't be coming back. I mean, she might. The whole Flashpoint, Barry screws the timeline might help, I hope. But, Thea's not coming back because I don't know what it is. Frankly, I don't care because it's like, I think it's because she used Dark's daughter as a hostage to get him to do what she wanted. She's like, I can't be seen doing those things in this costume anymore. And I'm like, really? Really? Don't get me wrong. The whole main reason is that they got to get rid of Diggle and Thea so they can make room for the new recruits. That's the reason they use. I just wish Thea's reason would have been, been more believable. Diggle rejoined the army. Good. I have no objections. I have no questions as to what he did. Even if they would have been like, Thea wants to stick by Oliver's side in the light, that's fine. But I don't know what her reasoning is. I don't care. I just want to see more of her come back. Where the hell's Merlin? He's probably off somewhere forming the Legion of Doom. Oh my god, he should be. He, he probably is doing that. Now I'm scared. Oliver kills again! I've always wanted him to start killing again. It just... 
Yeah, it was cute. Tommy died. Just swore not to kill anybody. And Deathstroke killed your mom. And that was like the 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 the, the peace de resistance in your iron will. I will not kill the man who killed my mom. But now it's like Damien Dark kills Laurel, and you're all like, oh, I'm back on a murdering spree. Ugh. Dropping bodies like season one, Oliver. And I'm like, hmm. I would have put more of the priority on mom versus not girlfriend, but but that's just me. I, I'm that, that that Oliver's killing again. Let's just be grateful and hope it lasts for a very very long ass time. Oliver versus Felicity. This is say what you guys will. I get a lot of hate for this probably, but I don't care. I did like Elicity. I liked Elicity when it was contained, but not when it was in full blown Elicity mode. I like this. Oliver and Felicity better because it's the Felicity that is not afraid to get in Oliver's face about anything. If something if something doesn't hit her ear right, she's gonna get in his face and make him understand why he's wrong. They argue, he doesn't see that yet. Then towards the end of the episode, he sees she's been right the whole time. I hope that that's how it stays. She's got a new boyfriend now, so even better for them to be like strictly business. Strictly business, you know be the Felicity of I think they're going back to season one, and that's why this one was called Legacy. We're going to live up to season one and two's expectations. That I like season three for what it was. Season four had Constantine. Perfect cops, and now we've got a new player in town. I don't know if they said that was Prometheus or not. I know that's Stardust, I think. I think they said Stardust was playing that character, the wrestler, so... They said it's Prometheus, I heard Ragdoll or something. I don't know. I don't know who that is. If you guys know, please comment down below and let me know. But what did you guys think about tonight's episode? What are you looking forward to from the season the most? Comment down below and let me know. Don't forget, guys, to give me a big thumbs up. Comment, rate, subscribe, and share with your awesome nerdy friends. And always remember, I do good times and bad times when we geek out. And enjoy your lives, and I'll catch you guys next time for another great video. Hey guys, thank you always for checking out the end of the video. I really appreciate your help. Uh, if anything, if you can, I have a Patreon website. It is in the description bar below. If you guys don't know, Patreon is a site where you could help creators like me do a lot more with help from pledging and being my Patreon. It's a dollar to thirty dollars. Anything you can give would be amazing. I, if anything, I always appreciate your views, your likes, your shares, your comments, and all that good stuff. But right. if anything, Patreon help me out a little bit more. Mr. Dark Phoenix. Because it'll be in the description bar below.